G'day guys, and welcome to World of Tanks with the Magnificent Margon. Well, yes, I I haven't actually played a lot today, um, so I haven't got a lot to show. Now, this is one that I uh, played a f probably about a week ago now, um, with Shojimaru, he just got his PZ4H as well. Um, so, this was just as he was coming back into the game, and... Um, as you can see, I've changed over to... This is just after I changed over to having... Instead of alpha penetration, now I've got alpha damage. So, it's not too bad. Um, now, I've... What am I doing? We're heading up the hill on Winter's Helmstorf now. This is a relatively old map. But it just had a facelift done to it, basically. So, nothing much changed to it. Is it snow being added and a few other little details around the map as well so it's all in all it's not it's not too shabby um, a map and um, it's sort of it's sort of one of those things so I've come up the top here really I, I can't remember what happened in this battle to be honest um, but I've come up here uh, up the top thinking okay well there's only one heavy that I can worry about, so really it's going to be a wolf pack of mediums up here. And that's what I was sort of encountering upon happening. Now I've sort of thought, I could, do I want to play this edge as a sniper, or do I want to get into the nitty gritty of it and actually fight it out? Now, the M8A1 really pushed up over there, so I spotted them. And Shojimaru has moved up. Now I've started pushing up around the edge of the town here and going, you know what? It's time to play tanks, guys. I've missed. Okay, that's not how you play tanks from the word go. So, naturally, you just take your time. Now, I've only, I haven't played this tank for quite a while. So, now I've come back to it. It's not too bad. Did he just charge me? <laughs> and yes, yeah, so as you can see, I think they all worried about me being here and not about the show tomorrow. I'll show. Uh, I that one up, as you can see. I didn't even bother sniper mode for that one. It just matter. Line it up. There you are. Goodbye. Three kills done. Two seconds. Um. So all in all, this this wasn't too bad. Um. We're in, it's, it's, not, it's pretty good now. Show's actually headed down that side, and I looked at the map and decided I'm going to head the long way around um, and just use my ability to be able to work um, the rest of this map. Now, as you can see, my radio range is only just picking up where the rest of my allies are. Um, XVM's telling me where all the enemies are. Now, Show's just come down there. And go, oh, what's going on? Um, who? <laughs> and he goes, where are you? I went, I went the long way around. I wasn't, I wasn't going to mess around with them. So I've come a long way around just to sort of catch people off guard, like this guy, and go, hello, and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the idea. I wanted to use the speed by this hand. And this takes not, it's not slow, but it's not fast at the same time. But it, it's just got enough. And with this high damage gun, just using HEs, it's brilliant, it does exactly what I want to do, and for a long time, Kaz used to, as I said in the previous battle, Kaz has always asked me, why do you like this one more, like 53 pen, 410, not too bad in tier 5 matchup, um, you're going to cause damage to whatever you hit, that's for sure, so, and that's what I'm aiming to do. I'm aiming to use this gun and get. And now I've I've come round on the flank of this KV-1, so I can just lay a few shots in the wing of HEs in the side of him, and that's going to do plenty of damage. I detract him there. Oh, that was a bit of a weak one. But pull back. He's hit the building, which is great for me. And I didn't get to finish him off. Uh, finish that one off. No, I didn't. And that's basically it. Um, I've used what I can, the surroundings I can, to, to win this battle. It's just a pity there wasn't that much of a challenge up on the hill, but 12, 1200 damage is not too shabby. That's that's pretty good. Um, 
I am really, really glad. And in this tank, I've I've always had it kept in the garage. Um, it is a tank that I've enjoyed. Now I did use to play this tank a while back. Um, I can't remember when I started playing down the German line now. It's been quite a while that I've been trying to grind up for my E100. Um, and, and what I use this for now is to grind up for the um, the VK30.1P uh, which is going down the mouse line. Um, I'm really looking forward to actually unlocking my Tiger P. Now the Tiger P, I think armor wise is a much better tank um, than the VK no, hang on, the VK36 is the for Tiger P and the Tiger in the sunlight. Now it's got a lot more um, armor on it and I find that to be a hell of a lot better in my opinion and I'm looking forward to to having it in that regard. So it, it's it, it's going to be interesting to see the differences between playing a Tiger and a Tiger P. Um, I, I think the Tiger P for me is probably going to be a lot, a lot easier to play than playing in the Tiger. Um, I'm not really sure yet. I, I think the the frontal armor at the tier seven that it is. I think it is tier six, tier seven, seven. Yes, tier seven. Tiger two is tier, uh, tier eight. So. Um, yeah, two seven. I think the two hundred mils of armor. That's not too bad. So you need to have something serious to penetrate it, or even use a um, uh, a, a, a premi round basically to probably penetrate it. So it's one of those things where you you got to toss up. And I have bounced a lot of shots from different tanks off the front armor. I think going, I can't penetrate this no matter what I do. And I'm like, I don't really want to waste premi rounds on this guy. If I get round him, I can kill him. And that's sometimes the hardest part, getting around those tanks. So, yeah, when I get there, it's going to be interesting. I'll probably have a few videos that I will put up. So, yeah, outside of that, it's going to be a short one, unfortunately, guys, today. Um, I've been running around all day rampant. Um, had a few family things that I had to do today. And just... It, 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 it's chewed me up all day. It's currently now, what is the time? Nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Um, and normally I have these all done by now because I start getting ready to go to bed at nine o'clock because uh, I get up at 4 a.m. in the morning just to go to work. So, yeah, it, it is getting late and it is pushing it for me. So, I, I know it's a, a quick one and I'm, I'm sort of sorry about that, but, well, I can't do everything. Um, I haven't played a lot of War Thunder, but see, War Thunder, it, it's it's harder for me to do episodes of it, more or less, because I can't save a lot of the game files. Well, I can save them, but they don't save, they don't store as the Wargaming ones do. Um, maybe there is a way of actually doing it, I don't know about it, so yeah. Um, so I, if I if I, ha I play a lot of matches all at once on War Thunder and don't get the time to actually um, edit them all the time, I lose them. I'm like, oh, I wanted to use that one. Oh, I wanted to use that one. And it's the way it goes. Sometimes you just take the good with the bad, basically, and that's that's it. So um, yeah, PZ4H, um, a great tank. I, I recommend adding it to your garage. Um, I always thought that the Spatial armor on this tank. Ooh, let's get a better angle. This spatial armor here that you can see. Um, originally, I think when I had this tank, I didn't have the side spatial armor. I don't think it had that, but it had the stuff around the turret. Um, and I always thought that it was um, around the turret. It added that little bit more um, because spatial armor ch can change the direction of the shot. So shots coming in this way. It could bring it down. If it's coming in this way, it could bring it up. It could send it in a completely different direction. It could even send it in a way that it will actually bounce, so you're less likely to get a penetration. So there's a, there is an advantage of spatial armor, um, and and the the game physics do go into all those sort of things. Um, so it does help the spatial armor. Um, it slows the shot down and things like that and it's it's a clever idea and the physics behind it is really good and they've, and they've worked it out pretty well um, it's, it's very rare I bounce a shot but when I do because of the spatial armor I'm like yes that would have been the shot that killed me um, 
But all in all, this tank with the um, alpha damage gun, yeah, that's the way to go. It, it works best. Use its mobility to get around. It's, it's got a great traverse speed in it. Um, so you're able to just duck around corners, get out of sight, get out of range, and it, it's it's perfect. So yeah. Um, if you like this video, guys, like it. Um, comments if you want to leave a comment about it. Um, uh, Waffle Pan comes up in a couple of days, so if you want to leave a question on the Waffle Pan thing, I have actually changed it to the Waffle Pan now instead of calling it World Tanks and War Thunder. Um, I've changed it over to actually being called the Waffle Pan now. Um, I'm going to use that for different other things. I'm going to use it to talk about a few little um, things that I've been reading lately about history, uh, particularly involving the World Wars and stuff like that. Um, I'm starting to you find that stuff a little bit more interesting nowadays, more and more. Um, so yes, that's what I'm using it for. So if you want to leave, ask me a question, things that you might want me to do a bit of research on, please do. The Waffle Pan's up and running um, every week. I release an episode for that. Um, uh, like, comment, Facebook page, once again in the description below. Um, email if you wish to email me a world of tanks replay that you've done saying this is how awesome I was on if you want to use the PZ4H send me in one that you've done um I think that's it like comment uh subscribe subscribe to my channel big red button says subscribe hit it and off we go pretty easy from there on otherwise happy hunting guys I'll catch you on that battlefield